With me in the studio is IT expert and co-founder of democracy.net.ph, Pierre Tito Gallia. Thank you very much, Pierre, for uh, you, coming Pierre. to the studio. Okay, well, let's begin with this before we go into the cheating uh, issues. What is a hash code? A hash code is just a series of characters that helps identify whether or not a software is correct. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if the code says AA, AF, you expect that the other side of the software must also read AA, AF. If there's any difference between the hash code of one and the hash code of the other end, then there's a compromise. But we have not seen that at, uh, within the automated election systems. Okay, so speak to us in election terms. No? Yes. So you have voters going to polling precincts, shading the ovals in their ballots, feeding the ballots into the VCMs, the VCMs cuffing out the receipts, yes. the VCMs transmitting the results of the, elec uh, well, the election returns to city, municipal, province, etc. Yes. So. Uh, what happens is when, when the voter inserts the ballot, the VCM machine reads the ballot, and then, com then it spits out the receipt. The mm -hmm. voter is able to uh, look at the receipt and say, okay, I voted correctly, yeah. it's fine. Where, where does the hash code uh, come into play? The then? hash code comes into play during the initialization of the machine, okay. when they, before the start of the voting itself. What happens there is the election officer verifies whether or not the hash code that was provided by co the COMELEC is the same as the hash code that the machine says it has. Mm -hmm. So once they are equal, then there's no problem. That the machine, it means that the machine is trustworthy. Okay. If they're different, then that's a uh, cause for the election yeah. officer to not use the machine. Okay, so voting uh, and then the transmission. So okay, na yon. Yes. So uh, is there a problem when we talk about the hash code in the PPCRV server really, in the public? Really. Uh, the PPCRV and other media outlets only, if think about it as a window. They are only able to look in, but they're not able to change the data. So okay. Comelec only provides them uh, a look at what the data is in the Comelec transparency servers. Yeah. That, that's what Anna de Villa Singh was saying. Yes, she's right. Lang namin ang that's data. right. Uh -huh. they, they can only see. There's no way for them to access the data that's being spat out from the machines towards the Comelec main servers. So uh, what happens is the, from the SD card, the, <coughs> the data is transmitted from the stored data on the SD card gets transmitted to the Comelec servers, then the Comelec servers throw to other servers, the transparency servers, for uh, media to be able to look at. And that is what we see in the various media outlets and in PPCRB. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we played that soundbite of Andy Bautista. JC Gutinger uh, reported about it. Andy Bautista saying there is no cheating, and then, you know, there's a whole lot of explanation there. So do you believe them? I believe that there's sufficient doubt. And... Uh, uh, speaking for the AES, I doubt if there is a compromise of the automated election systems itself. However, in a situation where there's already too many questions, we, don't, we cannot afford to have six years of a questionable presidency. Instead, what we should have, we should ask COMELEC or some candidate should actually, or a coalition of candidates, create an election protest. It, it will only take less than four days for an election protest to uh, actually be resolved. If they spit How's that going to happen? Because in a manual election, you count ballots, right? That's so right. That, that, was for, that was for the <coughs> Miriam Defensor uh, Santiago protest in, back in 1992. 90, 92, yeah. Yes. So the best way instead is to take all the 45 million ballots that were used in the elections, set up maybe in SMX, 10,000 machines, you, s you feed in all the 45 million ballots, that's going to take less than four days. And that's far, far faster than an election protest of a manual count. But someone has to file a complaint. Someone that's has right. to. Someone has to file a complaint. But nobody seems to. That, and th there's no general outcry. There's no. If nobody's there? going to file, then that means there's go nobody's going to. If nobody's going to file, if there's going to be no protest, then whoever will be proclaimed is the winner.